value of x in the diagram. So we are finding the value of x from this diagram. Yes. Now looking at the diagram, we are having two interior angles. And then there is one property of a triangle which goes like this. The sum of two interior angles of a triangle is equal to the exterior angle. Now, per this property, we can say that angle A, C, F. Angle A, C, F is equal to 54 degrees plus 73 degrees. So this is equal to 54 plus 73 is going to give us 127 degrees. And now from here, AC is parallel to DE. Since AC is parallel to DE, you can see that X is equal to 127. That is all for the material. Number four. In the diagram below, O is the center of the circle. Size AB and BC of angle ABC are 24 cm and 7 cm, respectively. Calculate A, the radius of the circle, B, area of the shape portion, correct to nearest school number. So if O, yeah, o, if O is the center of the circle, then AC, this AC is the diameter of the of the circle, and then ABC2 is a triangle. So if ABC is a triangle, then we can solve for the length of AC, which is the diameter, using the Pythagoras theorem. So when we use the Pythagoras theorem, we are going to use the longest side, which is AC. I am going to square the longest side, AC squared, is equal to any of the sides squared, A, B squared, plus BC squared. Now AC, we don't know AC. Before we can find the area of the shared portion, we have to know the area of the circle and then the area of the triangle. So after that, then we subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the circle. So let's put this on board. Area of area of triangle ABC is equal to half means times height. The base here is 24 cm times 7, which is equal to 4, 2 goes into 24, 12 times. So, 12 times 
seven is going to give us 84 centimeters squared. It's in area, so we have to, the unit should be squared. And then we find the area for the circle. So area of the circle is equal to pi r squared. Pi r squared. Now pi is 22 over 7. 22 over 7 times. R is the radius. We had 12.5. So 12.5 squared. We are going to get this is going to give us 491.07 centimeters squared. So now you know the area for the circle and then the area for the triangle. So what we do is that we are going to subtract the triangle from the circle and then we, we, we will get the shaded area portion. So area of triangle uh, circle minus area of triangle A B C is equal to seven ninety one point zero seven minus 84 cm squared. Now I are going to get 491.07 minus 84 centimeters squared. I are going to get 407.07 cm squared. And the question is correct it to the nearest school number. So when we correct it to the nearest school number, I are going to get 407 centimeters squared to the nearest whole number. Solve the inequality this 3s minus x. Okay. Illustrate your answer on the number line. And then B, if x varies directly as with y and x is equal to 2, what y is equal to 16? Find the value of y when x is equal to 7. Now, we have 3x minus into bracket s minus 1 less than 3 over 2 into bracket x minus 2. Now, from here, what we are going to do first is that we are going to expand the bracket. When we expand the bracket, we are going to get 3x minus x plus 1 less than when 3, when 3 over 2 goes into the bracket, we are going to get 3 over 2x. This time this, we are going to get minus 3. And then from here, we try and do away with the fraction. So when we do that, we are going to get the SL here is 2. We are going to multiply 2 with 2. We are multiply 2 with 2. We are going to get 6x minus 2x plus 2 is less than 3. 2 times this is going to give us 3x minus 6. Now we do like this. We are going to break this one to this side. And then the one without x to the other side. So 6x minus 2x is going to give us 4x. Let minus 3x is less than minus 6 minus 2. 4x minus 3x, we are going to get x is less than minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8. So this is what we are having now for x. And I, I illustrate your answer on the number line. So let's draw the number line. This is the number line. And assuming the middle will be 0, and then let's say here is negative 8, and then here is positive 8. So it's less than, we will shift the 0. 
and then the arrow is pointing to this side. So you draw the arrow to this side. That is all for question number 5B II. Now let's move on to B. If S varies directly as root Y, we can write this as S is equal to K root Y, where K is the constant of proportionality. And S is equal to 2. When Y, S is equal to 2. When Y is equal to 16. So now I'm going to fix S equal to 2 and Y is equal to 16 into the equation. We are going to get 2 is equal to K root 16. 2 is equal to root 16 is 4. So I'm going to get 4K. So we are going to divide this by 4 to get K. K is equal to 2 over 4. K is equal to, when we simplify this, I'm going to get 1 over 2. So K is half. Then you are going to replace K is equal to a half with K over here. So S is equal to 1 over 2 root Y. And then from the question, they say we have to find the value of Y when S is equal to 7. So when s is equal to 7, let's see what will happen to y. I'm going to get 7 is equal to half root y. And then from here, we try and eliminate the fraction. So the LCM here is 2. We multiply this cell by 2. 2 times 7 is 14. It's equal to 2 times half is going to give us 1. Now, you want y, not root y. So we square, we take a square of both sides. We're going to square both sides. Why square both sides? I'm going to get 14 squared is equal to root y all squared. And root y is equal to y. 14 squared is equal to 196. 